Hi, my name is Amy and I work in the Planning and Heritage Division at the City of Owen Sound. The City would like to get your feedback on a really important question about our historic courthouse and jail, specifically on the jail property. Before I get to the question, let me tell you a little bit about the property. The former Gray County Courthouse, the jail, jail yard walls, and the governor's residence are located on the east side of the city between 12th and 13th streets. The courthouse and jail are on separate properties. The courthouse is located at 1235 Third Avenue East and the jail property, which includes the governor's residence, is located at 1259 Third Avenue East. The City of Owen Sound owns both properties and the buildings are all vacant. As you can see in this photo from around 1870, the site was built in stages over time. Most of what you see in this photo still exists on site today. The courthouse is designated under the Ontario Heritage Act. The county courthouse was built in 1854 along with the first jail here shown as location 8. The jail property, which also contains the governor's residence, is listed on the city's heritage register but is not designated under the Ontario Heritage Act. The jail buildings were built in three phases from 1854 to 1877 and the governor's residence was built in 1889. The city's retained Taylor Hazel Architects, or THA, to look at the properties as built heritage experts. THA is a firm that specializes in the conservation of heritage properties, and they've helped us by preparing a cultural heritage evaluation report for the jail and governor's residence. They've prepared a heritage impact assessment to evaluate the impact of partial or full removals of the jail and the governor's residence from the property. And finally, they've prepared five options for the jail property buildings and structures. While the jail and courthouse properties are separate, the buildings are all interconnected. This means that we have to be really thoughtful about whether we should alter or make changes to the structures. Disconnecting any portions of the jail buildings, walls, or governor's residence from the courthouse is tricky. We have to be sure any removals don't damage the courthouse structure or its heritage value. Remember, our goal is to help get a new use in the courthouse and to see it get spruced up. Demolishing the courthouse is not part of our question. The city is considering partial or complete removal of the jail and governor's residence. Here's why. The preservation and reuse of the designated courthouse is our highest priority for the lands. The buildings have all been unoccupied for some time and we need to find a new user. The current condition of the buildings presents safety and security risks. We've made repeated attempts to sell the properties and we wonder if the jail buildings and structures are presenting a barrier to redevelopment. If the property is made more viable or appealing to a new user, we can help ensure the preservation of our courthouse. In order to make its decision, Council is looking for feedback from you on removing none, some, or all of the governor's residence, jail buildings, and or jail walls. Which of the following five options would you choose? Option one would see the removal of the governor's residence and outbuildings, both shown here in yellow. The option includes some TLC for the courthouse and the remaining structures for a time. Option two proposes removal of the governor's residence, outbuildings, and the 1854 jail, all shown in yellow. The courthouse, the 1860s jail, and the jail yard walls would remain. Option three sees the removal of all jail buildings plus the removal of the jail yard walls. In this option, the 1860 stone jail would remain. Option four proposes the most significant amount of removals. It only leaves the courthouse for reuse with all other structures being removed. Option five proposes to keep all of the buildings and structures on the jail property to put a small amount of work into preserving the courthouse and jail buildings at this time. So, what's next? This isn't the only way to participate and learn more about the historic courthouse and jail. If you're wondering about what's next, here's a list. Take our survey and pick your preferred option for removals from the jail property. Plan to attend our open house and question and answer session on October 19th at the Bayshore Community Center here in Owen Sound. Contact us at City Hall to register. Visit our website to view a more complete video on the jail removals options read past staff reports, and to read the work of Taylor Hazel Architects. 
please go to www.owensound.ca courthouse for these items and more.